All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is probably the last video you're going to see of this car. But uh, this is a farewell video to my 2000, yeah, geez, 2000, I wish. 1996 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Uh, I've had this car about six years, maybe a little more than six years now. And I've upgraded to a different car, which is just off camera here purposely. But uh, yeah, so this is probably a final video you'll see of it. Uh, of it. So, do a quick walk around here, I guess. And actually, ain't really much to look at. I'm trying to keep my other car off camera for good reason, too. But, uh, yeah. Um, just gotta watch where I'm walking through here. So yeah, uh, here she is. This is going to be a quick introduction video and then we're going to go into the uh, inside here in a moment. Then I'm going to go to my GoPro. One of the 90s generation GMs all had this vertical door handle. Was it like two door thing that they did in the 90s? My grandma had a car just like it that had the same kind of handle. I got some stuff on the inside for later, but anyway. I uh, changed the radio out at one point. So it's got an aftermarket CD player. I said two door. Yeah, bag in the back there is just mine. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let me get, uh, grab my keys here a moment. I'll keep it down here because I don't want to show my. Other car. Let me change hands here a moment. There we go. Uh, so here's a quick startup of it on the inside. Turn the radio down. She's got. Focus 131 453.1 at this point. It's gonna be more, a little more obviously, but but uh, yeah. So there's the aftermarket radio there, like I was saying. Air conditioning on right now, it's a little hot out, and one window gives me a little bit of trouble every so often, so I gotta be careful with that. But anyway, uh, yeah. Alright everybody, so this is the introduction to my new vehicle, my 2013, if you would have figured it out in the last video, you'd have known that, 2013 Nissan Juke, uh, it's the SV trim model, or trim level I mean, and uh, do a quick walk around, walk around here, oh. So uh, yeah, we'll do this anyway with the old car. We went to do a quick get in, start up, and then show you a little bit of the inside. This is one of the proximity key push button start deals. Um, so there's the key fob. Keep the key in your pocket. You can hit the lock button on the door to unlock and lock it. And indicate it's locking. And then one lock, and that's two lock. That's unlock all doors. Get in here. And, uh, so, there's the inside of this. That's saying, put my foot on the brake. It's got the navigation system, Rockford Fosgate audio. Uh, this thing kicks pretty good, actually. Quick shot of the back there. And uh, yeah, we'll do a quick start up here like I did the other one. Foot on the brake. Hit the button to start. It's 
got 13,100 miles. <laughs> so, uh, quite a bit different than my other car. Um, this has the, like I said, it's got the Nissan navigation system. It's got Sirius XM satellite radio, CD, auxiliary port, USB port, uh, a little bit of everything here. There's the, where is the map? There's your GPS there. I don't want to reveal too much of where I am right now. Focus, focus, focus. Being slow to focus. Anyway, then back to XM. It also has the Icon uh, climate control deal that Nissan has. So it's got it's got single zone climate control, but automatic digital readout and everything. But what the, what's special to this is when you hit the D mode button. And this is you see this a lot if you watch a lot of Nissan Juke videos, you'll notice this. It's got the D mode button where if you change that, all the buttons here change on the sides. These buttons here change. These buttons here change. The buttons on the bottom stay the same constantly, and the buttons on the side stay the same, pretty much. But, um, what you can do is you got normal, sport, and eco. They all change the throttle response, the steering response, based on whatever you have set as. Like normal, uh, there we go, sport mode changes the engine, CVT, steering, etc. Climate control stays the same. Eco changes pretty much everything except the steering is normal and then normal everything is normal. Uh, again, you can see climate control down here whenever you're not in the climate control options. There's climate control there. If I hit that, everything goes back to climate control. It's kind of a neat little feature I've noticed, you know, with it the, with these especially. Uh, it's got panoramic sunroof. Uh, gonna love that definitely. And it's also, I don't think I showed the remote for it, but this actually also has a remote starter function. That was a little nugget I didn't know the car had until we went to look at went to look at it uh, when I bought it. So it's definitely gonna be a nice feature for winter. I'm gonna definitely love that. So I'm gonna go to another video to my other camera here, and we're gonna do a little video of this one too. Uh, driving.